Hey guys, it's Sandy, and in today's video, we have a super cute and easy ultimate guide to Easter nail art for you. Julie will be showing you 10 different simple and adorable nail art designs that you can recreate at home. You can try out all 10 of these festive designs, mix and match a few, or you could just use one as an accent nail. If you love our ultimate guides, we would love for you to hit that like button. And we would also want to hear which of these 10 designs is your favorite. So leave us a comment down below and let us know. Hi, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the tutorial. As always, to get started, we're going to apply a base coat to protect our natural nails and make all of the designs last as long as possible. While I'm waiting for my polish to dry, I like to play one of my all-time favorite mobile games, Best Fiends. Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and build a team of fiends to defeat the slugs by matching the same colored objects. This month, the 30th fiend, Pop, is being introduced and the fiends are up against a brand new enemy, the Granny Slug. This is a brand new mini game for those of you who really love a challenge and you get huge rewards for completing it. Also, make sure to connect your game to Facebook so you can compete with all your friends on the amazing leaderboards. I'm on level 195, so download the game and see if you can beat me. Download the game for free using my link in the description box and you'll also get $4.99 worth of gold and diamonds for free. So now that we've had some fun and our base coat is dry, let's get on to our designs. First up, I'll be showing you how to do a super easy and adorable carrot design. Begin with an orange polish for your base color. I'm using a slightly peachy orange polish here. Next, grab a thin nail art brush and a slightly darker orange polish and begin making irregular wiggly stripes horizontally across your nail. You want these to be random, so don't try super hard to make the lines perfect. Next, grab a leafy green polish and make some squiggly lines on the top of the carrot for some leaves. And there you have a super simple carrot design. I'll be finishing all of these designs off with a matte top coat to really enhance the soft colors. Next up is another super simple design, but still super cute. Begin with a base color of your choice. I'm using a cornflower blue and applying two coats for maximum opacity. Now grab a white polish and using the brush of the polish, make two long rounded rectangles for the ears. You can make these as long or as short as you'd like. Then just add a little bit of pink polish to the inside of the white ears and you're done. This design is one of my favorites because it's so easy to do but still super adorable. For this next design, I'm starting with a pastel yellow polish. Next I'll be using three different sizes of dotting tools and three different colors to make a gradient dot cure design. Starting with the biggest dotting tool, I made a few dots all over my nail in the three colors, but focused most of the dots on the top half of my nail around the cuticle. Then I went in with the next size of dotting tool and started filling in the gaps. And you can also overlap some of the colors for a really cool effect. And with the tiniest dotting tool, I added some small dots mainly towards the bottom to give it that gradient effect. This is a fun design to do if you want something springy but not overly festive. Sticking with the bunny theme, for this next nail, begin with a white base. Next, I'm using a black striping polish and slowly creating two elongated curves on the nail for ears. Take your time and just go slow. If you mess up, don't worry, you can always clean it up with some of the original white base polish. To give this bunny some color and life, I grabbed the light pink I used for the bunny ear design and also added some of the pink to the middle of these ears, and then I added two dots just below the ears for blushing cheeks. Then I just added two black dots for the eyes and a black dash for the little bunny nose. And that's it! A super cute bunny nail! You can change up the base color and make your bunny any color you'd like. Moving along, I'll show you how to do a classic speckled egg nail design that looks way more complicated than it is. For this design, I started with two coats of a pastel pink polish and let it completely dry. To make the speckled effect, you'll need either a toothbrush, a coarse paintbrush, or even an old eyebrow brush like I'm using. You just want something with sturdy bristles. Now just wipe a little bit of black polish along the bristles and just dab the brush all over the nail. The brush basically does all the hard work for you and you can do as many spots as you'd like. Clean up 
clean up any mess around the skin with a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover, then just finish with a matte top coat for an authentic speckled egg texture. Up next, we have a soft floral design. For this look, I'm starting with a pastel purple polish. Before we start the print, I'm first going in with a white polish and a tiny dotting tool and just making some guide dots for where I want my flowers to go. This is just gonna keep everything even. Next, I'm using a slightly bigger dotting tool and making circles of five white dots for the flower petals. On the sides of my nail, I did less dots to make it look like the print is continuing off my nail. Then I just added a dot of yellow to the middle of each flower and that's it. Up next, I'll show you how to easily achieve a classic decorated Easter egg look. Once again, start off with a base color of your choice. I'm using a hot pink polish and doing two coats. I'll be using a white nail art striping polish to decorate my hot pink egg nail. First, I added two curves toward the top and bottom of my nail. I started with the line thin, then slowly built it up to get it even on both sides. Next, I'm adding a zigzag chevron stripe to the middle. And I'm finishing off the Easter egg with some dots, and that's it! You can always add more or less details if you want. This design is super customizable. Next, we have a super fun Easter egg hunt inspired design. Start off with a blue polish to represent a clear blue sky. Next, I'm using a small dotting tool in white polish to make a small egg shape on the tip of my nail. I'm using white first because next I'll be adding a yellow over top and I want the yellow to be vibrant and opaque without having to do a bunch of coats. Now using a grass green polish and a striping brush, make long and short lines randomly across the tip of your nail, overlapping the egg just a little. Once that's dry, I'll be adding one more egg in the foreground, but this one should be bigger since it's closer to the eye. And for a little extra detail, I just added some hot pink stripes on the egg. Finish with top coat, and that's it! Up next, we have an adorable hatching chick nail design. Begin with a pastel yellow polish for the base color and let it dry. Next, I'm using the white striper again and first painting two diagonal stripes on my nail, leaving a triangle of yellow in the middle and then filling in the two sections with white. Now just make tiny uneven triangles along both white edges for a cracked egg look. You may need a couple coats to get this edge sharp. Then I just gave the chick some little black dots for eyes and a little orange beak. And if you wanted more definition, you could also outline the cracked shell with a thin black line. And for our last nail design, I'll show you how to do a super cute egg pattern. For this nail, I started with two coats of a pastel pink polish and let it dry. With my white striping polish, I started making half egg shapes all over my nail. I did three eggs to keep it simple, but you can always do as many eggs as you'd like. I did two coats of the white to make sure the color was completely opaque. Then once that's dry, you can decorate your eggs however you'd like. I'm using some of the same colors from the other designs and doing some dots, stripes, and squiggles. Finish off your design with a top coat to protect it, and that's it! 10 adorable designs, absolutely perfect for Easter. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below which one of these looks was your favorite. For more awesome cute polish videos, check out the info card on the top right of your screen. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, just click the link in the description box below.